got nothing for no, you. Sir. Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing Aces D250 uh, um, Aspire 1 netbook. Now, basically, this is going to be, or I'm going to try and do a really quick review. I'm going to start on the bad and then um, obviously leave on the good, leave on a good note. Um, okay, so just, I'm just going to head straight into the review. Um, so the first thing you're obviously going to notice, or I'm going to run through, is the specs. It runs the Intel Atom N450, which is running at 1.66 gigahertz. <clears throat> has one gigabyte of RAM. It has the Intel GMA 3000 series. I'm not sure what exact model number it is. It runs a three-cell lithium-ion battery. 160 gig hard drive, 5400 RPM I'm assuming, maybe less, and it comes preloaded with Windows XP. Um, <clears throat> now, we're going to head straight into the bad. Uses the Intel Atom. I am not a fan of the Intel Atom. I think it very much so limits the computer. Uh, I've just gotten a hand-on touchscreen computer. You can watch the unboxing by clicking here. Uh, now that thing runs the Celeron and even though it's not that power efficient, it makes that much difference. It would, it really is. It's, it's the ultimate browsing experience. So I would say save up money, even though it's eight hundred dollars and this is three hundred dollars, is definitely worth the money. Um, so the second bad is it has low resolution, one thousand twenty-four by six hundred screen. Obviously, that's uh, not too good. Uh, but then again, uh, on the Hanvon tablet, it's actually not that bad. I really love that thing, but the review will be in about a week for that. So the the other bad thing about it is the keyboard is too small and close together. Now, I'm just going to pull this out so you can see. If you can see that there, you can see if you get a normal finger, it's just, it's just way too close together, not spaced out. I love the HP Minis <coughs> spacing of the keys, perfect size. Acer hasn't done as good of a job, uh, but definitely is better than some of the uh, netbooks I've seen. Uh, and then we have the webcam quality is pretty poor for you people that use webcams, and that's not going to be good for you, obviously, but um, I don't use it that much, so I'm, it's not a big con for me. <coughs> it's hard to install other operating systems. Uh, there's no drivers for Windows 7 for wireless or the graphics. Uh, you actually have to install those by downloading it off a website and then transferring it over USB. And then to install Windows 7, you have to change the boot order. Uh, and then you got to put Windows 7 onto a USB, which kind of sucks. Um, and it comes plastered with crapware, you know, like most Windows computers. Except for the Hanvon tablet. Fucking love that thing. Um, so another bad thing is it doesn't have a SIM card option for 3G usage on the go pretty bad for something that's meant to be a small form factor and supposed to be portable. Uh, sadly it doesn't have a 3G option. Uh, my HP Mini did, which was actually a really good feature I gotta say. Uh, the construction quality in this feels pretty poor. You know, it feels like it couldn't really last if you were to drop it. Uh, most of it is plastic. Uh, little metal is used. Uh, it's a couple hundred dollars more for the next model up, which just has a bigger hard drive and Windows 7 on it, which is a bit of a rip-off uh, from Ace's point of view. Now, just a note on this model, uh, even though it uses the N450 series Intel Atom and the GMA 3000 series graphics, there's a minimal, and I mean really minimal, speed increase, and YouTube is still unwatchable. So if you uh, own one from December, uh, like I did the HP Mini, don't even bother upgrading. Uh, definitely not worth the upgrade, in my opinion, at all. So, moving on to the good. Slim profile. Um, uh, very nice for Acer to have that. It's actually really unusual, because uh, I'm not trying to badmouth Acer, but they don't have the best designs normally, and they don't have the slimmest profiles. Uh, but I, I like I liked this design. That was one of the, one of the uh, main reasons I actually got it. Um, it's lightweight, so you're not going to be carrying around a beast. Uh, you know, I, I like its weight. Personally, some people might say um, it's a bit heavy, but then again, they say the iPad's heavy, so whatever. Um, it has a low heat output, so you don't, it doesn't get hot on your lap. Uh, great battery life, even though it's a three cell, it does pretty good. You can upgrade to the six cell and get even better battery life. Um, now, it has a good quality microphone for Skype calls, and I use a lot of Skype calls. That's great for me. Love that. It has a very low price point. I think it's at $350, $360. Uh, that's great. 
uh, it is it has a multi gesture uh, trackpad I don't use any gestures but it's nice if you know you have those features there's a crisp LED backlit screen now uh, really is a nice screen on this uh, it has a click trackpad rather than HP's touch trackpad sorry about that, I got my mic here but uh, yeah, no, I don't like HP's touch track, but I don't like the implementation they've done. It's not as good as uh, Apple's touch, admittedly. But um, yeah, no, this has gone just for the, for, for the simple click, and it just works better. I like it, personally. Um, HP's touch is not good. The laptop review, the DV30, DV6-3030TX laptop review is on the way as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, no, their implementation of touch is horrible. Click is, is reliable and I like it. So the screen doesn't stand out too much in the bezel, so it's not too um, indented into it. Uh, you probably can't see that. The lighting's not the best. But uh, trust me, it's not too indented. It looks uh, fairly good. Uh, the connectivity is good. You know, you've got the standard ports, VGA, uh, three USB ports, uh, microphone, audio, all that good stuff uh, comes with it. Now, it... Uh, the last good point is it comes with a free case, so you don't have to run out and buy one like I did with my HP. Uh, it's sitting on right here. Uh, the case isn't really anything too special, but it does get the job done. Pretty thick padded, just says Acer on the front, you know, clean and simple. So a final note, as with all netbooks, I just can't do what I need right now and I do not recommend it. Uh, now I keep mentioning the hand Vaughn, but please if you haven't checked the unboxing, click here. Uh, this brand really needs some recognition because that thing does what this should do. Now, um, I'm just going to leave on that note. I don't recommend it. It's my personal opinion for uh, people that don't watch YouTube. I love YouTube. I watch it all the time. Love user-generated content. And it just can't watch it. So, sucks, but that's the truth. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more.